Hey there, welcome back. Um, in typical fashion with this book, we have a numerical problem to end the chapter. Um, in this case, we want to use the relation we found in a previous problem, which is known as the Clausium Mosati. Not sure how to pronounce it properly, but that's my guess. We'll just call it the CM relation for now. Uh, but we want to check that the CM relation for gas is listed in the table 4.1 at the beginning of the chapter. Uh, let's note that the dielectric constants are given in table 4.2, so we can set up a equation to approximate this pretty quickly, uh, and then verify with the equation or table 4.2. Um, the densities here are so small that the approximate CM equation, which is what we used to start the last question, is indistinguishable from the actual relationship. Again, we'll see that as we verify. Now, for actual experimental data that can confirm this relationship or the CM correction term, uh, go see Purcell's uh, Electricity and Magnetism, the first edition. All right, enough chatter about the background. Uh, the solution to this uh, we can start with is for an ideal gas, which are the gas is listed in the table. Uh, the density is Avogadro's number divided by 22.4 liters. Uh, convert to the right units, so we take the liters and multiply by 10 to the negative 3, and then we end up with this uh, uh, n equal 2.7 times 10 to the 25th. Um, now we can approximate uh, chi e uh, with n alpha divided by epsilon naught, uh, which happens to work pretty well for alpha, the atomic polarizability given in the tables, epsilon naughts cancel. Um, and we're left with this term beta, which we can plug in. So, uh, once we have this factor, 3.4 times 10 to the negative 4 times beta, beta is a number that's listed in the table, and we just multiply them together. Uh, for hydrogen, uh, beta here is 0 0.667, thus the approximation after multiplying yields 2.3 times 10 to the negative 4, versus the actual recorded data, which is 2.5 times 10 to the negative 4. Not, a, not as close as it can be, but not that far off either, especially for negative 4. Uh, for helium, we see that we have a similar result, uh, 7.1 to the negative times 10 to the negative 5 versus 6.5 times 10 to the negative 5. And then we see neon and argon, respectively. Uh, but the agreement is quite good overall.